What's up, everybody? Joel Lance here. Today we are outside Burger Lab. That's right, guys. Burger Lab right there. Burger Lab. This location in Hamilton, but there's also one in Toronto, guys. Today to do their massive, big, old burger challenge. I believe it's called the Mary Anna's Trench. That's right, guys, which I believe is also like the deepest trench in the world or something like that. But anyway, so the furthest burger, guys, from my understanding, it's like 30 minutes to eat the beast. A couple of pounds of beef, maybe five or six patties. We then have like six chicken thighs. We got a whole bunch of bacon, beef bacon. There is so much of everything. There's portobello mushrooms, everything on this burger. It's absolutely massive. And then we have a side of poutine. That's right, if you're wondering what poutine is. Generally fries, gravy, cheese curds. It's an interesting dish originating from Montreal and or Quebec, Canada, but they have their rendition on it. So let's go in and see what we can do, have some fun. Should be interesting, so let's go find out. Everyone, so here we are with the burger. Absolutely massive, I will say so myself. This is literally the whole galaxy within this burger right here. Then we have a side of their mats poutine as well. So guys, this is a serious, serious challenge. Not a lot of time. So on this, we got mustard, jalapenos, gravy, cheese curds, and then beef. And then here with the burger guys, seriously. So five patties, six chickens, a whole portobello mushroom, countless strips of bacon, countless strips of cheese, grilled cheese bun. This is ridiculous. I got my friend, Mr. Ketchup, Shadow Ketchup. Please sponsor me, Heinz. One day I was gonna get it. With that, everybody, let's get started here momentarily. It looks really good. So let's get eat. Big burger. So let's count. We'll say the start of, remove this little burger. Ugh. There we go, that's cute, the gummy. All right, let's start. Let's say the count of five. This might be interesting to navigate. I might delay on side, actually. Nonetheless, five, four, three, Two, one, let's eat. Hot. I can't remove this gear. Hey everyone, welcome to today. video where today we're here at Burger Lab eating an absolutely massive insane burger called the Marianas Trench. So this thing was absolutely massive and it had a big side of poutine, a Matt's poutine, which was very interesting. So this burger had like almost three pounds of beef. We had six chicken thighs and each layer had the bacon, cheese, and their lab sauce, which was very, very delicious. This is a portobello mushroom. I'll save that for a bit. We then had this massive deep fried portobello mushroom, which was filled also with cheese and like a cream cheese. Um, very, very interesting. Um, like, well, it was, it was it was good, but it was very, very interesting. If you like cream and cheese and mushrooms, you'll definitely get a good dig on that. Um, everything is halal here, so it was all beef bacon used on this burger. Um, and so if you're following that, that's a pretty cool consideration. Um, but yeah, seriously, like very delicious challenge, very delicious burger, absolutely massive. The Matt's poutine um, was french fries, a beef gravy, cheese curds, and then jalapenos and mustard. So I've seen lots of iterations of, jala of um, poutines in my life, but never one with mustard on it. So definitely interesting. It'll be uh, hopefully be able to get to it and investigate what it tastes like. Very delicious, I will say. There we go. I'm trying not to make a mess, but sometimes that's easier said than done. That bacon is delicious though. And the sauce they have on here, lab sauce, I like it. So there is a Burger Lab location in Hamilton, Ontario and Toronto, Ontario. I'm at the Hamilton, Ontario location. Um, staff were very courteous as well, so huge thanks to them. What this restaurant's really known for is having like these insane burgers. So not only like this one being absolutely ridiculous and huge, but like even their standardized burgers uh, like on the menu, like there's one called the uh, Big Bang, a couple called like the DNA. Like these things are just giant, like, like you know, I mean, they're not burger challenges, but so big that like you would almost question if they were a burger challenge. Um, you know, multiple patties, then we're talking like loads of toppings, um, like definitely not burgers you can fit in a bite, like burgers you gotta fit in like a lot of bites, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what they're known for. Definitely got hopping on the Instagram with all the uh, kind of photogenic burgers. And this one, I think definitely being one as well. The bottom patties definitely are staying hot. 
What was really cool is the gentleman did ask me how I wanted my burgers cooked, so it wasn't just like a standard well done, um, at least in my case, which I very much appreciate. I don't really enjoy a well done burger. I like a cooked burger, don't get me wrong, but a burger should not be like burnt and or well done per se. You try this portobello mushroom? Interesting cheese in there. Have to give an extra special mention to that lab sauce they had going there. That lab sauce is like, it's so delicious. Um, you could probably kind of compare it to like a Big Mac sauce in a way. Um, apparently the sauce is trademarked as well, so I don't think you can buy it in a bottle, but I'm sure it will, well, I'm assuming it'll come at some point. And if not, they should definitely sell it in, uh, in a bottle at some point. Um, the burger also had uh, grilled cheeses as buns, um, which they made the grilled cheese with actual burger buns. So you had like a top and a bottom burger bun to make one grilled cheese and vice versa. So technically you had two complete buns, um, like burger bun sets in this burger as well. And of course I had my lovely Mr. Ketchup. I love ketchup guys. Ketchup also, um, not only to my pleasure, not only for my enjoyment, but it does add a bit of lubricity. It does actually help the food go down. Helps me a bit in my challenges. Plus I really like the flavor of it. I um, really like that beef bacon too. Very, very great flavor. Um, beautiful marbling on it. Lots of fat, lots of cured delicious flavor. So definitely not, uh, not complaining about that. And then there was that little gummy burger on top, which I thought was pretty cute. Um, kind of a little aspect. So maybe arguably you could say there are two burgers in this challenge. Well, I mean, if we're going to go there, I think you could say there was a lot of burgers in this challenge. But you know what I'm saying. So yeah, everybody. Um, but I believe that's pretty much all the information I had for you today. I'm definitely a big burger, a really cool spot. Um, so Matt's Burger Lab, guys, be sure to check it out. And ultimately, let's get to the rest of the video. Alright, maybe about like five minutes in, I think. Almost done the burger, just this that. And then the poutine. And the gummy burger. Ooh. Whoops. Making a mess. Let's try this poutine then. It looks very interesting. Just checking in guys if you are still watching this point thank you so much i really appreciate you for watching and i appreciate you not skipping we've been having so much fun with playing jokes on the video skippers so let's comment down below right now that drunk guy was crazy and then this way anybody who's been skipping through the video is going to have to come back and try to figure out where there's a drunk guy or where we were talking about a drunk guy so let's do it now guys comment down below that drunk guy was crazy and with that, thank you again. I really appreciate you, and I hope you have a lovely day. Let's ultimately see what happens.
something really love that burger that chicken bacon beef combo on it was actually surprisingly good i really love the sauce they're using their lap sauce the poutine was very interesting definitely the strongest flavor i was getting was mustard and again the dish being mustard jalapenos ground beef gravy cheese curds and french fries so very different very different but the burger was very delicious, guys. Really enjoyed it. The beef bacon was great. That ground beef was perfect. Um, they do ask how you wanted the burgers cooked, so they didn't just scorch them well done, so that was pretty cool. Um, but everybody, hope you enjoyed today's video. Very delicious food, and that's the lab here. So uh, that's about it, guys. But everybody, until next time, say happy all the time. Happy eating. Hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed the food here, guys. Like I said, very good. Staff been great. Um, but no complaints, guys. So until next time, the Mariana's Trench has been explored, discovered, conquered. And that's about it. So I hope you have a lovely day. I appreciate you guys. If you like this, hit that like button, guys. The likes on the videos keep me motivated, bringing you the best content, bringing you the biggest content, and all of the good stuff. So everybody, that's it. Just, you know what to do. Dang nabbit cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So there about it. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said, guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.